Let us explore how to use algebra tiles for factoring and this time we have an example of difference of square. So we'll go through a couple of videos to understand this technique. So we'll factor x square minus 1 using algebra tiles. Now x square we normally take the blue tile as the square tile. So this is our x square tile, right? x square minus 1. Now whenever we are trying to factor in perfect square, you will find that the unit tiles are diagonally placed with the square tiles. So minus 1 will be placed diagonally to our x square tile. So I will place it here. So that is minus 1. So I have a blue tile of x square and a red tile for minus 1. Now to make it a perfect square what can I do? What I can do is to form square I can add 1x positive and 1x negative. Now adding plus and minus x is kind of 0, right? So we are adding plus and minus x. So that is our plus x and this is minus x, correct? Now we get a square and you can write this square as length times width, right? So the dimensions are, now here you see it is x plus 1, right? Since this is plus, so this is x plus 1 on the width side and on the length side we have x minus 1. Now area is product of these two, right? So we get area as equals to x plus 1 times x minus 1. And that is how you factor x square minus 1. Do you see that? So that is the factoring technique which we can apply using tiles. So the strategy here is try to make squares. First squares with the x square tiles. Place the unit tiles diagonally and then complete your squares. In doing so, the dimensions of the rectangle, in this case the square, will provide us with the factoring of the binomial difference of squares, right? So we'll apply this technique a couple of times to understand. So look into the next video, pause and do it yourself and then look into my suggestions. Thank you.